Andy, why are the police so successful? Why did they grab on so quickly? I think it's the blonde hair, really. <laughs> Just where our roots are. Just that? No, no, no. No, no. That. no, I think we've been very lucky, but I, th I think it's a question of timing. These three guys in this band all came together at the right time when something was happening. I think the punk movement that happened in 1976 was a real symbol of a, a need for something new, and it was very strong in London, and we were very inspired by the sort of energy that was being generated at that time. We weren't a punk group, but we were inspired by it, and it made us go on to try very hard to find our own style. And I think what really worked musically for the police was a drawing together of um, a lot of contemporary styles, punk, reggae, jazz, and bringing it all together in one unit that sounded very contemporary. And I think, obviously, the group <laughs> has a certain amount of physical appeal. Physical um, appeal with blonde hair, yes. Well, you know, I mean, all these things came together in one group. It may not have happened with another group, and there is luck, but there's a fantastic amount of hard work and drive. And I think each one member of the group is a very driven individual. I don't think we're ordinary in that sense. There's no laid-back members in the group. You must be able to have a merry titter now at the early reviews you got by so many uh, writers and newspapers. Who and still do. It's amazing. I mean, even with reviews of the current album, you can put out, um, reviews side by side, some that are so black and so against us and write us off, and then the next one will say, this is the best thing the police has ever done, and they've really taken a giant step forward. So it's hard to take any of it really seriously, the good and the bad. You have to take the two together and not, to get, uh, not get too mizzled by it. Yeah. to carry on and do what you believe in. Yes, you don't love the media all that much, do you? Well, I think the media is difficult to love. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're harsher in England than they are in America. I mean, Americans generally have a lot more enthusiasm and are ready to uh, accept you. It's been harder in England, but, I mean, you could hardly say we failed in England. No, no, indeed. But, uh, but they haven't... I don't think they're kind to anybody. I no, think they're not. Make, no, that's what I mean. So if you read your own review and think, oh, God, yeah. that's terrible, just read a few more and see what they say about other people, and then you start to get it in perspective. Yeah. Do, do you think they really have an effect? I mean, if a newspaper says your LP or you as a band are, are bad, do, do you think that has an effect? On yes, because I think one of the essential things about being a continuing performer and musician and really being open to change and be, being able to make any good music or art, you have to remain vulnerable and open to some extent. You can't, like, put up real armour. So, yes, we can still be hurt by bad reviews, and I still read all the reviews. You know, I thought I'd get over it, but I haven't really. I still like seeing my name in print. Um, but then you have to step outside of that and be objective and just try and carry on and believe in what you do. I have the impression you'll be even more offended if people run down your photographs now. That would really Well, yeah, you. I'm exposing yeah. myself once again. Yeah.